Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do an 1820 house candle haul. Um, I ordered from 1820 house. I first heard about them through Shaker Woods, which is in Ohio, um, a couple of years ago, I'd say like three or four years ago, and I grew to absolutely love this candle company. Melissa Parker Smith, who is the owner of 1820 house candles, started this business from her home um, in an 1820, 1820 house, yeah, her house that she lives in now, and her old farmhouse, I believe it was an, an old farmhouse that she re renovated, was built in 1820, and she wanted to create a candle company, so what better name than 1820 house? Now, you can see, I'll post the links to my other videos about this company uh, down below, but anyway, this is two orders combined. Um, one of the candles I do not have here. It's actually burning right now, but I will do a review on that later. So let's go ahead and start with the candles. So basically, this is her signature candle. Looks just like this. Now, what's really, really unique, I'm going to pop up the website so I know about prices. But what's really cool about her candles is they're very, very rustic looking. Um, it says 1820 House Candle Company, or 1820 House right there, and then the name of the fragrance. And then on the back, it says 1820house.com since 2004, Hamport in Ohio. And these are like little leather, letter pressed coasters. I'm sure you can use this as a coaster after. But it says 1820 House Signature Elemental Aromacology Pure Vegetable, vegetable Wax Candles, Hand Poured in Ohio. And those are taped on, so you just rip this off. And I think it looks really, really cool with like the rustic look. And these are industrially designed, 100% pure soy and vegetable blend wax, blended with essential and perfumed fragrant oils in domestic or recycled content packaging, all small batch hand poured in Ohio with care. Um, they have all different kinds. This is the signature collection, which is, you know, the signature collection. It's the most popular collection. And there's three sizes. A 15 ounce, which is this, for $16, 22 ounce for $20, and a 31 ounce for $24. Now, this size burns for 75 hours. Um, the $20 candle burns for 120 and the 31 burns for 160 Now, the fragrance of this one is Vanilla Extract, which is very basic. I mean, there's not a whole lot of scent descriptions on her website because they're exactly what you think. This smells just like you open a bottle of vanilla extract from your kitchen. It smells amazing. This is going to be great for this time of year, the fall and the winter. I know it sounds very simple. There's many complex fragrances out there. So to just have a candle that smells just like vanilla, it's pretty amazing. And I absolutely love the way that these burn. Something about these candles getting a nice deep wax pool is gorgeous. They all are double wicked. Well, the majority of her candles, all the ones I have here, are double wicked. She does have a couple other uh, lines of candles that are not double wicked, um, but they're smaller. You can also find on her website all the locations that she sells to, little boutiques all around the uh, country. So I'm sure you can find one in your area. So that's a vanilla extract. Then I also got a big size in um, birch bark and marshmallow. That is such a unique scent. It does not smell like toasted or marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works at all. It's super unique. It smells more like, it smells like a marshmallow, but not like an overly sick marshmallow. And then a very earthy wood. It's amazing. And her candles are just the right amount of strength. They're not knock you out strong, but they're not so subtle you can't smell them. They are the perfect blend. This candle I had before, and I knew I had to get another one. This is in roasted coffee bean it looks like this now i remember whenever i was a um starting out candle youtuber i called this wax like crusty but that's what happens with a vegetable soy wax blend you're gonna get like those little holes not holes but you're just gonna get a very natural effect on a candle and this candle smells just like open go to starbucks you know, go to Gloria Jean's Coffee, go to any coffee shop, that's what it smells like. There's no sugar, there's no cream, it's just a roasted coffee bean. I absolutely love it. And her candles come, I believe if you buy them from the store, they just come like this, I'm not exactly sure. But they come in a box like this, stamped with 1820, 1820 house, oh, this is 1820 house holiday. This is a holiday stamp, but they'll just be regular. Um, Smells amazing, double wicked again. And this one burns for 120 hours, so 
And they definitely burn for a long time. They're absolutely fantastic. Now, um, the reason I actually pushed this video up further than um, some of my other videos because these are her new holiday candles and I definitely want you guys to get an opportunity to try them. For one, the packaging is gorgeous. Look at that. All hand leather pressed. It says 1820 House number 15 because it's 2015 holidays. Hand poured in Ohio. Rust Belt Made, which is the brand of the, um, it's the company that she uses to letter press her stuff. Seasonal compositions of field, forest, and fireside elements captured in redolent light. And then on here, on the top of the label, says the same thing. Well, and it says number 15, or holiday 15, 1820 house. And then it has the name of the fragrance, which is Cassia and Cranberry, which I'm not exactly positive what a Cassia is, but it looks just like this. And it's in the same signature style jar, but it just has a simple square label on the front that says number 15 holidays. Now, of course, this won't focus because everything else focuses except when I want it to. Okay, well, this is Custy and Cranberry. And immediately, you smoke cranberry. I'm actually going to look up what a Cassia is because I have no clue what a Cassia is. A cassia is a plant, so it's like a floral cranberry. I can definitely get, like, I get straight up cranberry. Now, as you can see, this wax does not have the crusty type on the top. It will when it starts to burn, but this just smells like a very, very, not super spicy cranberry, but there's definitely a little bit of a cinnamony smell to the cranberry, but it's absolutely delicious. Hands down, love this fragrance. They're great for holiday. And I love that her holiday candles are in the smaller size that burn for 75 hours because I'm the type of person that, like, I want the big sizes for holiday, but then holiday's such a short time, I feel. I burn my candles, like, I'm burning holiday scents now, and then after Christmas, I, like, want to put them away, even though they're still January. But I like that they're smaller, too. And I like that they have these little boxes. They're great. So there's that one. This one is... Fur grapefruit. That focused right away. Now this is amazing. It smells just like pine. I mean, that's what I get hands down is pine. I don't really smell grapefruit or anything yet, but I'm sure once this burns and you can really start to get the full body of the fragrance, you're going to get the cranberry, the cranberry, the grapefruit. But right now, it just smells like fur, which is like a pine. That's all I'm getting right now. But it's amazing, too. I love pine-scented candles for holiday. And that's it. Like, I couldn't burn them all year round. So it's nice to have them during this time of year. Mm, I love it. Hopefully, the, the grapefruit comes out as I burn it. I'm sure it will. But here it is. Love it. Next is Cashmere. And Amberwood, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Cashmere and Amberwood. And again, I don't know what Cashmere is. She uses so many unique ingredients in her candles. Cashmere, it uh, does not say on here. I always think cashmere when I think that, when I think of this word. And this looks just like this. Now, this is the type of candle I would see any guy getting. It does not smell like cologne, but you definitely pick up on the amber wood. Amber is such a unique scent that, I shouldn't say it's a unique scent, but it's a scent that's very de detectable in a fragrance. Any candle, any perfume, anything that has the fragrance amber in it, you can detect, and I can with this candle. But it does not matter, it's still amazing. It smells just like, I mean, I just pick up on the amber. I'm not exactly sure what cashmere is. If you know what this is, K-A-S-H-M-I-R, then please comment down below. I'd be curious to see, but I love it. It's like I said, a very earthy, very, very, he not heavy fragrance, but a deeper fragrance. Very complex. It's super yummy. I love that one. And then last but not least, and there are, I believe, six holiday fragrances. I picked up four. I should have picked up the other two. I might end up doing that anyway. And this one is in... Candied Fig and Absinthe. 
Now, if I remember correctly, absinthe is a plant. It's a very cleansing plant. I remember that from the body shops. Is um, highly alcoholic beverages. It is an anise flavored spirit, so it smells like anise. I know that the body shop has an absinthe hand butter and hand wash, and that's absolutely disgusting. I bought it and I hate the fragrance. I think I got it for free. I used that up a long time ago and it was it was terrible. But this is candied fig and absinthe. And I pick up on the candied fig a lot. Fig is such a great fragrance. I love the fruit. I've never eaten a fig, but I've smelled lots of fig fragrances and they all have that same very sweet, sweet fruity scent. And with the candied fig just makes it even more fruity and more complex. And it's absolutely amazing. Love this. I don't really get the absinthe part. I mainly pick up the top notes on all these fragrances. Um, but this one is the candied fig and absinthe. And look at how it look cool. Look at almost like cracky on the top. I love that. So smells amazing. Love this one as well. If you have ever heard of 1820 house or have ever purchased any of their candles let me know what you think and if you would like to purchase their candles i will leave a link for you guys down below let me know what you try from their holiday line from their signature line this is also i believe called the rust belt collection they have all these numbers these on the side here are from their elixir collection they're in a little tube and they actually look like that inside and then there's a reclaim collection so she has some awesome collections very natural collections so that is my haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe i'm actually it's only an hour from my house so i'm probably going to stop at her store i've never been there before and when i save up some money and go hog wild at her store i know i will so there will be a big haul from there but anyway hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye